Hello, Randall Monk and Ron Vazane here with a message from the 2021 mess, uh, with a, actually a gem of wisdom from the 2021, January 2021 message. You are now in the process of reclaiming all the multiple facets of your soul self within the third and fourth dimensions so that you may move forward to a greater, more dynamic, an expansive version of your higher self within the fifth dimensional environment. We've talked about this many times before and in the lessons, but we have an, a, many, many new people joining us and, and our numbers are growing and, uh, uh, and people are awakening and people are desperate and they're seeking answers. And so this is a very important part of we're talking about ascension symptoms and, and people are disturbed because they think they're doing something wrong. And so let's briefly go through this again. So the third and fourth dimension, that environment that, that we started up, that uh, we have had uh, for all these many lifetimes on earth, uh, you have created thought forms. And it's like, these are what you might say, past life thought forms that are, are uh, out there. They're out there, they're in your auric field and so on. And so the ones that are resonating at those lower frequencies of the first, second, and third chakra of survival, sexual energy, power struggles, instinctual nature or animal instinctual nature, desire body, those uh, frequencies are the ones that are most prevalent in the, low, in the third and the lower fourth. And so those are below the heart. And so those are the ones that are really distorted. And so in the beginning, in the old way, you had to experience those because they're there waiting. They actually are waiting to be brought in back into uh, wholeness within you. And so the old way was we're experiencing those and trying to balance and harmonize them. And if we didn't get them done this lifetime, we had to come back again. But now the process is moving much more quickly. And the magic is, the mid fourth dimension, that fourth level, that th there's the first three levels of the fourth dimension are still, things are getting better as you move in there, but that's when you open the heart chakra. That's when you've cleared 51% of the negative energy. You've worked on those things that have all those trials, tests, challenges, and you've gotten the truth of it, and you've harmonized them, and you've brought them back into you, and waiting to be reprogrammed in a higher frequency. And so then as we begin to move up in that fourth, higher fourth dimensional energy, and we're getting the help from our higher self, we're doing it in a different way. Those facets, those thought forms, those seed atoms are in facets of our higher self. And so as we begin, we get into that higher level, and we are sending, as we say, we are sending, you beginning to bring in adamantine particles and send out unconditional love for the greatest good of all. Then the magic starts. You have moved out of your instinctual human nature. You have balanced and harmonized your human human nature. And now you are working on your human spiritual nature. And so as you get to a certain point, and those frequencies are higher than you, but you get to that point, a memory, uh, it's, that's when our soul song, we talk about our, our um, energetic signature. That is, that is the art field that you have all the time, that's your chakra system. When you, when you get to read, read the chakras and so on, it'll tell what the, what, uh, where they are vibrating and where they are resonating to. But when you get to that level, that soul song, the energy begins to go out and tap into those higher levels. You exchange a memory seed atom of higher wisdom of your wisdom, your history, your lineage, those things that your higher self, other facets of it that they need. There always has to be an energy exchange. And so see the magic of it that goes out to a facet of your higher self and you get their memory seed atom and you both are harmonized and you begin to draw together. You begin to bring those facets together and it continues until you get up to that causal body. And so we're not gonna go any further than that. It seems complicated, but it really isn't. But those are the things that you do not have to experience negativity 
you get the knowledge, you get the understanding, you resonate to something that's your truth and your higher self is good. That is what it's going to hold you to, not someone else's truth. That that you take is your truth. That is going to be your new blueprint. That is going to be your new app that's yours alone. And as it's stronger, we're striving to become not human spiritual beings, but a spiritual human being. That's the path of ascension. That's the path we're on. That's the magic path that was, that was created, the divine blueprint. And it's there waiting for us. Isn't that magical? That's our future. Join us on this ride of the ages, on this fast track to ascension, because it's going to be a wild ride. We believe in you. We trust you. We're here for you. All I will say about that is that that mid-fourth dimensional uh, place, that's where the magic happens, and you, we have to have an open heart to be there. So endeavor to maintain an open heart and radiate love, dear friends. Yes. Much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours. Stay well. We love you. Bye-bye.